Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Miss Joanna. Yes. Good. Okay, muy bien, vamos a dar inicio. Jesus. ¿Me escuchan ahora? Mejor. Yes. Okay, let's start the class in two minutes. Dos minutos. Yeah. Ok, buenas noches. Vamos a esperar quizás un par de minutitos mientras los demás compañeros ingresan para dar inicio a esta clase. Ok. Clase número 17. 17. Clase número 17. Okay, good. Okay, guys, uh, tell me what date is today? What date is today? On Wednesday. Wednesday? Ju July 6th. July 6th. Excellent. Good, excellent. All right. Six. All right. Uh, ok, bueno, ¿alguien recuerda las formas de cómo reportar un problema? I, ne I need. Um, I'm sorry, so I need. I need. For example, algunas expresiones que se llamó el día de ayer. Bueno, okay, in. For example, we have new software. Okay, tenemos expresiones que problemas con la ingreso. O la aplicación, okay, new software, new software. Also, we have no internet, no internet access, no internet access. Okay, good. Also, we have a, a virus, a virus, a virus. Okay, also, we have deleted, deleted files, deleted files. Okay, muy bien. También tenemos paper, paper stock in printer, paper stock in printer, and USB port out of order, USB ports out of order. Tenemos funny, 
funny noise in the CPU. Funny noise in the CPU. Funny, yeah. right? And yeah. we have the last one, frozen screen. Frozen screen. Bueno, también practicamos un poco la lectura. Ok. Y decía, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Una vez más. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. ¿Qué tal si nos ayuda mi Sandra siendo Peter? Y si nos puede ayudar, veamos, no sé si Miss Karen nos puede ayudar siendo Robert. Okay. 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 Good morning. This is, um, perdón, este ahí lo leo así como está o cambia el nombre. Eh, cambia su nombre, está a su nombre. Okay. Good morning. This is Sandra from FormTech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Sandra. Sandra, this is Karen. I call in from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it? Uh, Karen? I doesn't see thing to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Excellent. Very good. Muy bien. Gracias por la participación. Si nos puede ayudar, eh, veamos. Mr. Abner, podría ser Peter. Good. Thank you. And let me see, how about Mr. Oscar? No sé si se encuentra. Yes, teacher. Okay, entonces Mr. Oscar será Robert. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Okay, good morning. This is Avner from Tech, Tech Support. How can I help in you? Hi, Avner. This is Oscar. And I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is uh, Oscar? I doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. Ok, vamos a tomar la asistencia, la primera asistencia de esta clase, Wednesday 6, all right, Wednesday 6. Ok, here we have, um, let's start, Mr. Abner, present, teacher. López Montalvo, López Montalvo, María Serrano Durán, María Serrano Durán. Contreras Romero. Present teacher. Junker Escobar Landa Verde. Escobar Landa Verde. Escalante Rivera. Escalante Rivera. Guevara, I'm sorry, Miss Arteaga Mendes. Present Thank you, Miss. Um, Guevara Rosales. Guevara Rosales. 
Amaya de Amaya. Amaya, Amaya de Amaya. Alfaro de Canales. Me, teacher. Thank you. Neftali Garcia. Present, teacher. Thank you, mister. Eh, López Cerón. Present. Brizuela Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you, miss. Guevara Chinchilla. Present, teacher. Cotilla Villegas. Tías Villegas. Guevara Castro. Guevara Castro. Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Corpeño Martínez. She is. She won't be here. Era Sandoval. Present teacher. Thank you. Excellent. López Portillo. Present teacher. En Chicas Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Okay. Bueno, eh, ahora tenemos otra lectura. Okay. En esta clase vamos a ver también el uso de would. Eh, would eh, pertenece a un grupo de verbos modales. Ver, eh, model verbs. Model verbs. ¿Cuáles son los model verbs? Bueno, son estos... Eh, pertenecen a un grupo de verbos especiales, ok, con reglas diferentes a los verbos que realmente conocen. Okay, también ayudan a modificar el verbo, pero eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Ok, vamos a ir a la conversación. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación, pronunciation. All right, and here we have page on page, um, let me double check, page 39. Oh, no, no, sorry, 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 sorry. It is page, we ready to practice that one. Um, it is page, where is it? Uh, 42, page 40, 42. Mike Hernandez, you ready? Mike. Mike and Maria. Mike and Maria. Are you ready? May I start? Yes. Good. Bueno, it says, listen to your teacher. And listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. And it says, Mike, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mrs. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a, a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. Muy bien. Una vez más. Y dice, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my, com my printer. What is the problem, Mrs. Ochoa, or Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working, and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. All right. Uh, okay. Is there any question with the pronunciation of any word or 
Is there any question with the meaning? With the meaning of any word? Preguntas de la pronunciación o el vocabulario. Eh, teacher, lo último dice I sit. ¿Cómo se pronuncia lo demás? I sí, esa. Uh, lo demás. I'll. I'll. I'll be. I'll be there. Eh, y en la otra donde dice making um, right es... away. Perdón. Eh, más arriba en la conversación de María. María, ajá. Eh, making a uh, y no sé cómo se pronuncia la otra palabra, es strong. Making. Making a straight noise. De María, donde dice it doesn't seem to be working and it's mark making como no sé ajá todo eso cómo se pronuncia strange noise strange noise strange strange noise noise y making así es making it, making a it, making a strange strange noise, noise. It's making it's a strange noise. noise. Está haciendo un sonido extraño. It's making, making a strange, strange noise. noise. Okay, una vez más, si quiere. Hi, Mike. Okay. I'm sorry, Mike Hernandez. My IT name. department. Hello, Mark. Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. Button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Una vez más, ¿les parece? Ok, si, si repetimos todos. Ok. Mike Hernandez. Mike Hernandez. IT department. IT department. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Chua. This, this is Maria Chua. From accounting. From accounting. I would like. I would like. To report. To report. To report. To report. A problem. A problem. A problem with my printer. With my printer. My printer. With my printer. With my printer. What is the problem? What, what is, is the problem? problem? Is the problem? Miss Ochoa. Miss Ochoa. Miss Ochoa. It doesn't seem. It doesn't seem. It doesn't seem. It doesn't seem. To be. To be. To be. Working. 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 And it's making. And it's making. A strange noise. A strange noise. Is there. Is there, is there a message? A message. A message. Is there a message? Is there a message? Is there a message? Is there a message? In the control panel. In the control panel. Yes, it says. Yes, yes, yes. it says. Okay, aquí es CES, con una E y S. CES. 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 Yes, it's CES. Yes, it's CES. 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 C
service. 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 Also. 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 There is a red light. There is a red light. A red light. On the error. On the error. On the error. Bottom. 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 I would like. I would I like. Would like you, I would like you, you. I would like I you. Would like, I would like you to come. To come. To come. To come soon. 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 To check it. To check. To check, check it. it. I see. I see. I see. I'll be there. I'll be there. Right away. 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 Away. Muy bien. Ok. Una vez más. Mike Hernández. Mike, Mike Hernández. IT Department. IT, IT Department. IT. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accountant. This is Maria Ochoa from Accountant. I would like to report a problem. I would like, like to report with my friend. 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 Printer. 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 What is the problem? What is, what what is the problem? problem? Miss Ochoa. Ochoa. It doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be working. And it's making a strange. And it's making a strange noise. 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 Is there a message? Is there a message? In the control panel. In the, the control, control, control panel. panel. Yes, it says service. Yes, yes it says service. service. It says. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Set. 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 Okay. Yes, it says service. Yes, Set. it says yes, service. It say service. Also, 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 there is a red. red. There is, there is a, a red light on the error. Light on the, the error. Light on the error. Button. I would like I would like, 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 like to come to come to check to check it. To check, it. Check, it. check it 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 Ok, no voy a decir chicken, es diferente. Chicken. chicken. Check. Ok, muy bien. Eh, I see. I see. I see. I'll be there right away. I'll be there. I'll be there. There. Right away. Ok, ahora un poquito más rápido. Más rápido. Hello, eh, I'm sorry, Mike Hernández, IT Department. Mike, Mike Department. Hernández, IT Department. Hello, Hello. Mike. Hello, Mike. This, this is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like you, I would like to report a problem with my printer. I would like to report, would like to report, report a problem, problem, with, problem with, with my printer. printer. What is the problem, Mr. Cha? What is the problem? What is the problem, Mr. Cha? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. 
Is there a message in the control panel? Is there a message in the control panel? Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon. I would like you to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. Excellent. Very good. Muy bien. Okay, como es usual, vamos a practicar. Okay, con nuestros compañeros la lectura de este día utilizando web. No sé si existe alguna eh, duda con respecto a la pronunciación o alguna palabra, el sentido de alguna palabra, en the meaning, the meaning of any word. Teacher, Tell me. En el, en, quiero ver en tres cuarto párrafo, es a strange noise. Strange, strange noise. 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 Ok. Y es en el siguiente es Is there a message? Message. 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 Ok. Thank you. Anytime. All right. Here we go. Hola, buenas noches. Hello, Miss. Nosotros tres haremos equipo. <laughs> Usted tendría que estar en la número 8. Ahorita la muevo, por si no, no, si no le aparece el mensaje. Ok, ahorita. Hoy sí. Hoy sí, comenzamos Mike. Hoy sí. And Mike Hernández, IT Department. Hello Mike. This is Maria Choa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. Choa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says it see no comana. Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. 
I see. I will there right away. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. There is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be the right away. Okay. Now, inicia usted. Mike Hernandez at the department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to refer a problem uh, with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a messenger in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the on the error button. I will I won't like I I call like you to comment soon to share it. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay. Si quiere vuelvo a empezar. Okay. Mi Mai Hernandez is department. Hello, my. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my partner. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange nose. Is there a mesh, mesh in the control panel? I miss, okay. Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the road button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I be there right always, always. Okay, la, la pronunciación de eh, message. 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 Red, red, light, light, light on the, on the, the error, error, button, button, red light on the error button, red light on the error button. Okay, thank you, teacher. Helen, no sé si va a participar. No, no contesto. Quizá viene manejando. No contesto. Si no sigamos. Si gusta, cambiemos los nombres. Unos no, no, nosotras. ¿Para qué que te metiste? Espérame. ¿Qué te metiste? Fue. No sé qué es esto. Bueno, 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 bueno. Bueno, botón. Bueno, bueno. Bueno, espera. Espera, espera. Bueno, más larga. Acaba. Bueno, si vos empiezas usted ahora. Ok. Mike Hernández, ¿y te va irme? Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I, I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? I doesn't seem to be working and is making a strange noise. Is there a missing in the control panel? Yes, 
I see service also. There is a red light on the road, Puro. I, I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I be the right away. Ahora empiezo yo. May Hernández, hello, IT hello. department. Perdón, perdón. Eh, solamente corregí la pronunciación de message. Message. ¿Cómo es? Message. Message. No. Message. Message. Exactly. Message. Oh. Ok, message. también button. Button. Okay. Eh, ahí dice red light on the error button. Button. Error Exacto. button. Ok. Eh, teacher, y la palabra it says. All right. It says. 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 Con una S-E-S. S-E-S. Es S-E-S. Says. Says. It says. Service. Oh, okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a mes message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red bin on the roll button. I would like you to come soon to check it. Check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay, otra vez. Message. 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 Lo, que, lo que sucede es que si dicen message, ese es masaje. Message. 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 Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service also, there is a red thing on the road. Baron, I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Oh, you see, Miss. No, muy bien. Okay. Okay. Ahora, si quiere al revés, hagámoslo. Okay. Mike Hernández. No, yo creo que esto se confunde, ¿verdad? Al, al, al traducir así lento. Exacto. Ay, teacher. Perdón. Ja. Ay. Estábamos um, eh, completando el, eh, el ejercicio número tres, ¿verdad? Que nos estábamos dando cuenta que no hay diferencia cuando dice el que nos ayudemos con la conversación, ¿verdad? Entonces dice, no. I would like to report this issue. issue. I would like fix this. Y sería, o sea, I would una... like to fix. To. Ah, to. to fix. Ah. <laughs> ah, to fix. To fix. Ah, por eso estábamos diciendo que no podía ser tan sencillo solo tener like. <laughs> Ya vamos a ver, ya vamos a ver ese tema. Solamente okay. terminamos la lectura y vemos el uso de would. Like. Ok, sí. estamos issue? comentando. Ese es issue. 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 Como SH. Issue. Eh, issue. Sí, issue. 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 
Ok. Issue. Pero, ¿y ese sí qué es? ¿Por qué? Problema. Un sinónimo de problema. Problem. Mm, Por ejemplo, si okay. tiene un problema en su casa, se dice, ah, eh, no se puede conectar ahora. I can't join to the class because I have an issue in, in my job or I have an issue in my home. Un problema. Mm, okay. de decir, en vez de decir tal cual problem, I Exacto. have a problem. problem. Um, okay. Thank you. Ok, después de haber practicado la lectura de este día, okay, vamos a tener la conversación. Are you ready? Ready. Ok, vamos. Eh, ¿Pueden visualizar la lectura? Uh, yes. 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 Bueno, entonces iniciamos con Mr. Abner y Mr. Austin. Ok. Ready. Ready, ok. Eh, Mike Hernández, AT Department. Hello, Mike. This is Mario Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a mention in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error bottom. I would like to come soon to check it. I see. I will there right away. Muy bien. Ok, excelente. Eh, solamente vamos a repasar la pronunciación de message. 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 Y I would like you to come. I would like, I would like you to come. Like you. Um, To come. to come. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. How about Miss Mary Betsabe and Miss Sandra Leticia? Okay. No, this are it department. Hello, my. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's, it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light 
on the other bottom, I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be the right away. Okay. Okay, I'll be, repeat for me, I'll be there. I'll, I'll be, be there. there right away. Right away. away. I see, I'll be there right away. I see, so I'll be right away, right away. There, I'll be there. there. I see, I'll mm -hmm. be there right away. Yes. Excellent, excellent, good. Muy bien, uh, uh, light, light. 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 Light, muy bien. Vamos con Miss, thank you very much, Miss Maylin and Miss Sandra. Okay, how about Miss Elizabeth and Mr. Josué Neftali? Okay. My Hernandez, I did the department. Hello, my, this is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and I'm making a strange noise. Is there, is there a message is in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red line on the error bottom, I would like you to come see to check it. I see. I be there right way. Excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay, almost gone. It's strange. Strange. It's strange. Noise. 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 Strange. Noise. Noise. Message. Noise. Message. 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 Printer. 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 I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. Muy bien. Vamos. Muchas gracias por su participación. Vamos con Miss Joana y Miss Carla. My Hernandez, IT department. No está. <laughs> Hello. Carla. Carla. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Maria Ochoa. From a content about like to report and problem what my brain tell. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? Is that we to see to be working and they each making a strange note. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the arrow button. I would like you to come in soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Muy bien, good job, thank you. Okay, let's, let's we're going to repeat. Strange noise. Strange noise. Strange noise. Strange noise. Strange noise. Message. 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 Error bottom. Error bottom. I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. Thank you very much. Excellent. How about Miss Isis Montalvo and Miss Karen Lopez? Mike Hernandez, it department. 
Hello, Mike. This is Maria Joa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there, there is a red link on the error. Burong. Ay, esa palabra me olvidó. Baron. 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 I would like you to come on the check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Good. Okay. I let's repeat. I would like you to come. I would like, like you to you, come. I would like you to come. I would like you to come. Soon. Soon. To check it. To check it. Okay. Muy bien. Finalizando con mis eh, grupo número ocho. Que es Miss Sara Abigail y su compañero. Okay. Mike Hernández, IT Department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it's a service. Also, there is a red light on the arrow button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Very good, muy bien, excelente. Ok, muchas gracias a todos por su participación en este ejercicio de lectura. No sé si existe alguna duda con el uso, bueno, con la lectura, con alguna palabra. Eh, más el significado. Pronunciation or the meaning. Ok. Good. Bueno, entonces eh, vamos a ver el uso. We're going to study the use of wood. Ok, wood. Ok, vamos, voy a compartir con ustedes. Pantalla, me indican si lo pueden visualizar. Yes, right. Ok, y aquí vamos, el uso de wood. Ok. Y dice... Bueno, primero a, a explicarles un poco qué son los model verbs. Los model verbs es, uh, es, son un grupo, es un grupo de verbos especiales, lo podemos llamar de esa forma también, verbos especiales que se rigen con sus propias, con sus propias reglas. ¿okay? Usualmente estos model, mo, model verbs o verbos modales se utilizan para, en eh, muchas ocasiones, para modificar el verbo. ¿De qué manera? para modificar el verbo para que suene en ocasiones más formal o con un tono más respetuoso, ¿ok? Y eh, sus formas interrogativas, negativas y oraciones afirmativas también son diferentes a las demás, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? A las oraciones simples como el presente simple o al verb to be. Vamos a ver. Y decía acá. ¿Qué son los modal verbs? What are modal verbs? They are auxiliary verbs that provide additional and specific meaning to the main verb of the sentence. Ellos son también llamados verbos auxiliares que dan eh, un significado adicional o específico al verbo principal de la oración. ¿Ok? En pocas palabras, modifican al verbo. ¿Ok? Los modal verbs. ¿Cuándo se pueden utilizar? Eh, 
para, sona, para ofrecer algún tipo de ayuda. Okay, to offer. Y también para eh, solicitar algo de una forma educada. Polite. La forma polite, la, perdón, la palabra polite significa educado. Ok. Educado. Por ejemplo, puede decir, ah, he is very polite. Él es muy educado. Polite. Entonces, eh, la palabra polite significa respetuoso, educado, ok, polite. Seguimos. Ok, una de sus reglas es que ya no vamos a agregar S al verbo en sus terceras personas. Ok, ahí se acaba uno de los quizás quiebracabezas de agregar S o ES al verbo. Por ejemplo, she studies, she works, she has, he goes, it plays. Ok, se recuerdan de esa regla. Con los modal verbs no se aplica. No agregamos S o ES al verbo. Ok, tampoco en sus formas preguntas utilizamos do or does. Ok, aquí va a ser diferente el modo pregunta. Ya no vamos a utilizar do or does. Y para la forma negativa tampoco utilizamos don't or doesn't. Don't or doesn't. Ya no utilizamos esa forma. Por ejemplo. Aquí tenemos dos oraciones. La primera dice, um, he would like, he would likes to meet her. Ok, como pueden ver, agregó la S al verbo. Porque está utilizando he. En este caso, está incorrecta. Ok, ya no vamos a agregar S o S al verbo. La siguiente, la siguiente. Does he would like to eat hot dogs? También esta forma está incorrecta. Ya no vamos a utilizar does or do. Y será diferente la forma. La forma correcta. La forma correcta será. He would like to meet her. A él le gustaría conocerla. He would like to meet her. He would like to meet her. Ok, ya no tenemos que agregar S. He would like to meet her. Ok, en, en la forma pregunta. En la forma pregunta lo que vamos a hacer es cambiar el orden. En este caso será primero um, would. Would. Irá al inicio. Después seguido de el sujeto, más el verbo y el complemento. Okay. La pregunta será, would you like to have vacations? Would you like to have vacations? Esa es la forma pregunta. La forma pregunta. No sé si hasta el momento todo claro o sure, necesito. Do, will, do will you like to go to Dreamland? Eh, si lo dijéramos, eh, me, pues llegar a pasar, eh, sonaría raro. Es decir, eh, ¿qué estoy dando a entender si lo dijera así? Eh, sonaría como súper extraño, ¿no? no existe eso. Ah, okay. No existe. Es Quizás sonaríamos como que estuviéramos hablando al bien. Porque no existe, la, no existe esa, como esa estructura. Como bien cantinflado. Exacto. Bien cantinflado. Exacto. Ok. Ok, hay estructuras que gramaticalmente pueden ser que estén malas, pero son entendibles. Pero en este caso es, no, no se entiende. Do would you like. No existe eso. Ok. Entonces, la forma de pregunta sería, vamos a iniciar con would. Would you like to have vacation? La palabra would, ¿qué significa, teacher? La palabra would no tiene significado. Lo que hace es modificar al verbo. 
Oh, okay. El verbo para que suene como te gustaría. Oh, ok. Comprarías, bailarías, soñarías, trabajarías, por ejemplo. Yo iría, I would go, yo iría. Okay, eso es lo que hace el would, modificar. Modificar el verbo para que suene de esta forma. Continuamos. Ok. La forma negativa. ¿Se recuerdan que en el presente simple utilizábamos doesn't or don't? En este caso ya no lo utilizamos. Vamos a utilizar únicamente he would not. He would not like to be in your shoes. A él no le gustaría, no le gustaría estar en tus zapatos. He would not like to be in your shoes. He would not like to be in your shoes. A él no le gustaría. También se puede utilizar la contracción de would not, que es wouldn't. Wouldn't. Y la, la contracción es wouldn't. Ya vamos a ver más ejemplo de, de wouldn't. wouldn't. Por ejemplo, algunas cosas que no te gustaría hacer ahorita. Podría ser, I wouldn't like to travel to Russia. No me gustaría viajar a Rusia. I wouldn't or I would not like to travel to Russia. No me gustaría viajar. ¿Cómo se escribe wouldn't? wouldn't. Ahorita mismo. Así. Contraction. Okay. Vamos con la siguiente frase. Ah, ok. Acá están todos los pronombres. Están los pronombres I, you, she, he, it, we, you, and they. They. Con todos los pronombres, con todos los pronombres, se puede utilizar would. 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 Y también con todos los pronombres se puede utilizar la contracción. ¿Se recuerdan en la lectura? Vimos una contracción. Es de y apóstol. De y apóstol. Que es la contracción de would. Algo muy importante de mencionar es que Después de would, no separamos, no separamos con preposición to, sino que de una vez, I would like to eat, we would like to eat now, they would like to eat now. Si usted coloca una preposición, después de would, está incorrecto. Por ejemplo, si usted dijera, I would to like, incorrecto, ¿ok? O she would to like, incorrecto. La preposición to va a ir después del verbo. Por ejemplo, como pueden ver el verbo like. Después de esto, sí. I would like to eat. I would like to play. Ahí es porque hay dos verbos. Sí, porque hay dos verbos. Ok. O oh, eh, she would like to play soccer. He would like to watch a movie. Okay, así que en ese caso... No se le olvide la preposición justo del verbo, después del verbo. 
¿Puedo avanzar o alguna pregunta? Eh, nada más una duda que me quedó. Uh -huh. eh, veo como separado, pero le entendí otra cosa. Uh -huh. I, you, she, he, it, se utiliza word. Y con we, you, they, el apóstrofe y la... No, no, o, bueno, o no. Perdón, perdón. Eh, eh, con todos los pronombres se va a utilizar would y con todos los pronombres se puede utilizar la, la contracción. Ok, eh, ¿va, a ser, ¿va a ser cuando queramos o hay alguna regla? Cuando usted quiera, mis. Ah, ok. No sé si existe otra pregunta. I don't know if you have another question. Ok. Tenemos un ejemplo y dice, ¿Tú quieres hacer algo con tus amigos esta noche? Pregunta. ¿Cómo podemos hacer una pregunta? Podría ser, what would you, what would you like to do tonight? Ah, oh, ya estaba, to do. What would you like to do tonight? ¿Qué te gustaría hacer ahora en la noche? Ok, ese sentido de la oración es... De una forma polite. polite. ¿Recuerdan el, el significado de polite? Yes. What would you like to do tonight? En el número dos dice, you, you are in a restaurant. And you ask for a glass of water. Estás en un restaurante y deseas pedir una, un vaso con agua. ¿Cómo podría ser? Then, would you bring me a glass of water, please? Me, pod me traerías un vaso con agua, por favor? Would you bring me a glass of water, please? Yeah. Okay, en la número tres, ¿quiere, ¿usted quiere expresar que le gustaría ir a París? ¿Cómo podría hacer esta oración? A good like good. I would like to go to Paris. Me gustaría. O también podemos, vamos a utilizar otro verbo aparte de like. Vamos a utilizar love. Amaría. I would love to go to Paris. I would love to go to Paris. Eso, eso es decir como me encantaría ir a París exacto a María me encantaría ok escuché a otra persona teacher y siempre tenemos que agregarle el tú por ejemplo después de el verbo sí por ejemplo I would like to do ok ok would you bring me a glass of water you know I would love to go to Paris. Si usted dice, I would love go to Paris, está incorrecto. Ok, number four. You don't like to work as a waiter. A usted, ese es un ejemplo hipotético. A usted o a ti no te gusta trabajar como mesero. ¿Cómo podríamos decir, no me gustaría? I could work, work, not, well, no, no sé cómo pronuncio. <laughs> ok, sería I de esta work. forma. I wouldn't. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? I wouldn't. Words. Wouldn't. Words. Entonces so sería, I wouldn't like. No. To work as a waiter. 
Ok, en la número 5, usted le está ofreciendo un sándwich a su amigo. ¿Cómo se la ofrecería de una forma polite? Would okay. you? Uh -huh. Like. Like. A sándwich. ¿Te gustaría un sándwich? Would you like a sándwich? A sándwich. Ok, vamos a, a repetir las oraciones. Ok, todos juntos. Y dice, what would you like to do tonight? 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 Number two. Would you bring me a glass of water, please? Would you bring me a glass of water, please? Would you bring me a glass of water, please? Would you bring me a glass of water, please? Muy bien. El número tres. I would love to go to Paris. I would love to go to Paris. To Paris. I would love. I would love to go to Paris. To Paris. Me gustaría, me encantaría ir a Paris. La número 5. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like. Número 4. I wouldn't like to work as a waiter. I wouldn't like as a waiter. I wouldn't like to work. In the number cinco, would you like a sandwich? Would you like a sandwich? Excellent. Muy bien. Okay, vamos a seguir practicando y estudiando el uso de would. Okay. Y vayamos el orden correcto de estas oraciones. Recuerden, no se puede utilizar would to. No se puede utilizar would to. Would to go. Perdón, perdón, no la escuché muy bien. She would to, okay, she no, perdón. Would. She would like to go vacation, would on to this year. Excellent. Okay. okay. She, she, <laughs> she would like to go on vacation this year. She, she would, would like to go she would like to go on cool. vacation Okay. Vacation. This year. This year. This year. She would like to go on vacation this year. Okay. La número siete. ¿Cómo sería? La número siete. He. He gold. Uh, he. He gold. He gold. Like, like, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. Like. He wouldn't. Like. Like. Meet. To meet. To meet. To meet. Meet you. You. To meet you. A él, a él no le gustaría conocer. He wouldn't like to meet you. Es sad. 
He wouldn't like to meet you. La número 8. ¿Cómo consideran que es la, el orden correcto? We. 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 Low. 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 We will low. 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 To visit. To visit. 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 Visit again. Again. Y el yo, ¿dónde va? Yes, we will. You again. You again. You again. Ok, no, nosotros, a nosotros nos encantaría visitarte de nuevo, nuevamente. We would love to visit you again. We would love okay. to visit you again. La número 8. No, no, sorry, number 9. Number 9. Es pregunta. Mm. Would you like? Like play, like to play, mm -hmm. to play you the git, you the guitar. Um, Would you like to play the guitar? ¿Te gustaría tocar la guitarra? Ok, y la número 10. Couldn't. ¿Cómo sería? I. I couldn't like I couldn't. to. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I like to to swimming swim swim. there. Okay, muy bien. I wouldn't like to swim, swim there. I wouldn't like to swim there. No me gustaría nadar ahí. Okay. Okay, nuevamente vamos a repetir las, las respuestas. She would like to go on vacation this year. She would she like, like to go, go on, on the vacation, vacation year. this year. She would like to go on vacation this year. She would like to go on vacation, vacation this year. year. Number seven. He wouldn't like to meet you. He, he wouldn't, wouldn't like, like to meet me. you. Excellent. Number eight. We would love to visit you again. We would love to visit you again. Excellent. We would love to visit you again. La número nueve. Would you like to play the guitar? Would you, would like, you to like, play like to play the guitar? guitar? Y la número diez es? Número diez. I, I would like to swim like there. To swim I would, excellent. I wouldn't like to swim there. Muy bien. Excelente. Vamos a practicar más el uso de wood. Ok, solamente un, un segundo. Ok, dice Would you like to Infinite For example Would you like to go a party? Sounds good Pues puede ser una respuesta ¿verdad? Accepting Sounds good. Yes, I love it. Ok, y si usted dice, usted, su respuesta es negativa, alguna una solicitud puede ser, no thanks. 
No, sorry. I like to go shopping. <laughs> Veamos. ¿Cómo podría? Would you like to? Play, 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 play basketball. Play. Okay, leanme el completo de la oración. Would you like to play basketball? Would you like to play basketball? ¿Cómo podría ser eh, accepting? Yes, I would like to play basketball. Excellent. Yes, I would like to play basketball. Muy bien. ¿Cómo podría ser esto? To swim. Would you like to swim? Would you like to swim? La respuesta puede ser. Yes, I would. I yes, I would. Yes, I would love. Sounds great. Sounds good. Ok, la siguiente. Would you like to watch TV? Watch TV. Would you like, I'm sorry. Watch TV. Would you like to watch TV? To watch, to watch TV. This one? Wow. Would, would you like a student mathematics? Student matemática. Okay, nuevamente, por favor. Would you like to student matemáticas? <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice matemáticas? <laughs> math. <laughs> math. But math. math. La forma corta es math o mathematics. Okay. Okay. Y el verbo estudiar study. es study. 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 No es study. Like yes. study mathematics. Mathematics. Una vez más. Would you? Would you? Would you like to study math? Math. Excellent. Would you like to study math? Muy bien. ¿Qué tal esa? Cinema. Cinema. Oh. Would you like go to the cinema? Go to the cinema, yes. What, no. Would you like to go to go the cinema? Cinema, cinema. Excellent, muy bien. Uh, movie theater. ¿Qué tal esta? Uh, shopping, shopping. Go to light shopping. Would you like to shopping? To go shopping. shopping. Oh, to shopping. <laughs> to go shopping. Sí, en este caso es, would you like to go shopping? To go shopping, yes. Exacto. Es que el verbo shopping por sí solo eh, no se utiliza, sino que se utiliza siempre acompañado de go, go shopping. Uh, Ir de compra. Uh, okay. Go shopping. Would you like to? Would you like to go shopping? Excellent. Would you like to go shopping? Belleza. Would, would you like to play games? Video games. Video games. Okay. Mm -hmm. Video games. Well, una vez más. Would you, would you like to play video games? Excellent. Would you like to play video games? Muy bien. How about this? Oh, drink. Would you like uh, to drink beer? Would you like to drink beer? Okay. Would you like to drink cocktail? ¿Cómo se dice? Cocktail. O también puede decir, hey, would you like to drink something? ¿Te gustaría tomar algo? Would you like to drink something? Something, 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 exactly. Algo. Okay. Uh -huh, something. Otra opción que se les ocurre. Would you like to drink tonight? Would you like to drink tonight? Muy bien. Would you like to drink tonight? Muy bien. 
no sé qué es cabalgar o montar el caballo. Es right, right, right. Ajá. Good look, good to like. Uh, to ride. To ride a horse. Okay, would you like to ride a horse? Ah, horse, yes. Horse. Muy bien, y definitely. Spanish. Okay. ¿Qué tal hasta el momento el uso de web? ¿Difícil? ¿Fácil? Mm. ¿Más práctica? Sí, más práctica. Yes. Okay. Ahí sí quisiéramos utilizar la forma contractada. Es, es, no, o sea, es igual. Sí. Ok. Únicamente en la forma afirmativa, ¿verdad? En preguntas se tiene que decir U. Y se pronuncia igual, teacher. Así, eh, perdón, la contracción. Sí. No, la contracción es I'll. I'll. Or she'll. Or they'll. Okay. Una D al final. Después del pronóstico. Ok, Miss, let me see. How about Miss um, Joanna? What would you like to do next summer? Correspondiente a la, a la imagen. Uh, he. He um, will, no, they would like to swim. They would like to swim. Bien. They would like to swim. Otra opción podría ser. I would like to visit. Ah, se me olvidó cómo se Beach. 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 Ok, la E un poquito larga. Perdón, la I. Un poquito larga. Beach. Beach. Sí, porque uh, si la hace like. corta, eso es otra cosa. <laughs> ok. Beach. Yo sería, I, I would like to visit beach. Ok. I would like to go to the beach, right? Tunco Beach. Tuncel Beach. Yes. Ok. Surf, Muy bien. Surf too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, it says, I would like to go to the beach. Muy bien. I would like to go to the beach. To the beach. La siguiente, what would you do at the beach? What would you do at the beach? ¿Qué harías en la playa? I would like, I would like to swimming. <laughs> To swim. Swing. Okay, to swim. Sorry. To swim. Okay, vamos. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I would swim with dolphin or I would like to swim with dolphin. Muy bien. With dolphin. Okay. Podría ser como I would swim, nadaría con delfines o I would like to swim with dolphin. Me gustaría nadar. Okay, ambas opciones son oh, o oh, I, I, I could swim my son. I would swim with my son, okay? I with would. my son, with, with, with my son, okay. Ahora negativa. Mi Sandra, usted quería utilizar la forma negativa. Um. No, 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 no sé, teacher. Tiene que decir, no me gustaría ir a la playa. No me gustaría. Ay. Ay, Warren. No, I ¿cómo se dice? Ay, Warren. Es que eso se me olvidó. Ay, Warren. Like. Uh -huh. To the beach. Okay, to go. To go to the beach. Okay, muy bien. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I worry. No, I, wouldn't like. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't like. 
I wouldn't like to go to the beach. La siguiente. ¿Quién nos puede ayudar? ¿A dónde te gustaría ir? Digamos que usted quiere ir al hospital, ¿cómo diría eso? I would like to go to the hospital. Excellent. Muy bien, Miss Montalvo. I would like to go to the hospital. Oh, yeah. Aquí también tenemos, I would like to go to the mountains. Me gustaría ir a las montañas. I would like to go to the mountains. Eh, si quisiera acampar, ¿cómo podríamos decir? I could like, uh, I could like, I could like to the camping or camp. Ok, muy bien. Oh, I, yeah. Podría I ser sleep. también. I, I would like sleep in camp. a tent. Dormiría en mm -hmm. una tienda. De o también, I would like to camp, como dijo Mr. Mr. Uh, Abner. I would like to camp. I would, I would sleep. Que ahí dependiendo de su creatividad. ¿Qué te gustaría hacer en tu cumpleaños? What would you like to do on your birthday? I would like to visit Mexico. You would like to visit Mexico. Me too. Excellent. I would like to dance. Okay, you would like you would like to dance. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice día libre, teacher? A day off. I would like uh, to have day off. Excellent. You would like to have day off. Muy bien. Oh yeah. Aquí una sugerencia es I would like to have a party with my friends. Me gustaría tener una fiesta con mis amigos. I would like to have a party with my friends. What would you like? What would you do at your birthday party? ¿Qué harías en la fiesta de cumpleaños? I would like to eat a pizza. Excellent. I would like to eat pizza. Oh, yeah. Okay, or I would eat a pizza. Comería una pizza o me gustaría. I would like to eat a pizza. Muy bien. Para hacer la forma negativa, ¿cómo podría ser? Peter Gurren. Peter Gurren. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Peter wouldn't eat pizza. Or I wouldn't eat pizza. Muy bien. Excelente, Miss Montalvo. En la siguiente. What would you eat then? ¿Qué te gustaría comer entonces? What would you shoot is then? Mr. Abner, what would you like to eat on your birthday? I would like I would like to to eat lasagna. Okay, lasagna. Excellent. Oh yeah. Okay, I would eat an ice cream. Comería un sorbet. Y tenemos opciones. Oh yeah. Okay, I would like to go to the 
Theme park. Theme park. Oh, yeah. I would go on rides. Subirse a las ruedas. I would go on rides. I would go on rides. Oh, yeah. Tengo otra forma negativa. I wouldn't like to go to the, the, the same park. ¿Qué te gustaría hacer el fin de semana? What would you do at the weekend? ¿Qué tal Miss Elsie? What would you like to do on weekend? At the weekend. Oh, Mr. Josué Neftali, what would you like to do on at the weekend? No, no, no. Oh, get out of Karen Lopez. What would you what would you do at the weekend? Oh yeah. Okay. He will he will go to the cinema. I oh, would yeah. see an animated film. Vería un, una película animada. En Spanish. Okay, este fue el uso de would. Recordarles que would pertenece al a los verbos a los modal verbs. Modal verbs. Ok, y ellos pertenecen, ok, a los verbos especiales que tienen su forma negativa, afirmativa e interrogativa propia. Ok, vamos a ir a la página, página número, digamos, 43. Page 43. Exacto, 43. Okay, y tenemos eh, she would like to send the reports today. She would like to send this, the report today. Vamos a repetir estas. Eh, she, I'm sorry, they would like to speak to a supervisor. They would like to speak to a supervisor. Okay. A ellos les gustaría hablar con un supervisor. Eh, she would like to send the reports today. She will like to send the reports today. Excellent. He'll he'll like he'll like to the new employees tonight. Okay, and will like will like to ship to ship this container tomorrow. This, This container is Ok, muy bien. Eh, ahora vamos a pensar dos actividades que le gustaría realizar antes que este año termine. Ok, two activities. Yes. You see, you would. Ok. 
For example, you can say, um, I would like to travel to another country. I would like to travel I would buy a new car. I would like to buy a new car. I would like to buy a new Podría ser, teacher, I would like to go to the camera. Exactly, I would like to go to the camera. Sería go to go the camera. Exactly, to go to the okay. camera. Okay. Ok, comenzamos. Eh, Mi Sandra también me dijo uno. Uh -huh. Sería. Uh, I would like to go to the Cameroon. Excellent. Very good. Um, I would like to eat soup chicken. I'm sorry? I would like to what? Uh, I, I would like to eat mm -hmm. soup chicken. Chicken. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Otro voluntario. Miss T-shirt. Go ahead, Miss, please. I would like to see Alaska. <laughs> and I would like to travel to Vancouver. To Vancouver, excellent. You need to learn French and English. Okay, Vancouver, excellent. Yeah. Let's see. Hi, Go ahead, Miss. Uh, a good, a uh, good to like to visit the stadium, the Real Madrid. Okay, you would like to visit, okay, the stadium of Real Madrid. Very good. And the second one. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I could do like uh, to buy in the house. Okay, to buy a house. A house. A house. I would like to buy, or I would buy a house. Again, very good, mister. And next, I don't know if we have another volunteer. Me. Go ahead, please. Elsie. I would like to back to Texas. I you would like, like to, to go. To go. Back to Texas. Ah, to Texas, excellent. To Texas, and I would like to go to the Disneyland in Miami. Nice, excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good. Okay, very good. ¿Qué tal? Eh... Let me see, Miss, Mr. Neftali, dos acciones que le gustaría revisar antes de que finalice el año. I would like, oh, I would like to buy a new car and mm -hmm. I would like to go to the beach. 
Excellent. You would like to buy a car and you would like to go to the beach. Excellent. Very good. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. I will like uh, to get pregnant. ¿Cómo se dice? Pregnant. Okay. Pregnant. Okay. And I would like to travel to Cartagena. To Cartagena. Oh. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good. Okay. Well, now, ahora, lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a aplicar un poco el, el listening. Okay. La, el escucha. En, la siguiente, en el siguiente ejercicio se va a poder eh, es dar clic en algunos audios okay, para poder practicar el uso de Wood y escoger la mejor respuesta. Voy a compartir con ustedes este link. ¿Ya lo copiaron? El link. El link está en la en el chat. Eh, no lo van a enviar al grupo. Si me ayudan con la compañera eh, para que lo pueda visualizar. Ya lo mandé. Muchas gracias, Miss. Ahora vamos a realizar este ejercicio. Este ejercicio, pues si tienen que clicar, clicar en la carita. Darle clic en la carita y va a escuchar el audio y escoger la mejor respuesta. Teacher, no podemos compartir. Oh, I'm sorry. Now you can. No, ya. That's all, teacher. Gracias. What would you like to eat? I'd like something to hold, some onions, and a lemon. What would you like to eat? I'd like some onions, chicken, and meat. Would you like some bread, some cheese, and pasta? Yes, please. Would you like some bread, apples, and melon? No. I'd like to eat pasta, some apples, and melon. What 
would you like me? I'd like some cheese, some bread. What would you like? I'd like some <laughs> some onions and lemon. It's the same one. Mm -hmm. sure. What would you like to eat? I'd like some onions, chicken, and meat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you like some bread, some cheese, and pasta? Yes, please. Would you like pasta. some bread, some cheese, and pasta? Mm -hmm. Yes. Pasta, bread, cheese. Yes. Like some bread, some cheese, and pasta? Hi, <laughs> Would you like some bread, some cheese, and pasta? Yes, please. Hi, Would you like some bread, some cheese, and pasta? Yes, please. Bread, cheese, and pasta. No, Porque dice cheese, dice cheese. Dice pasta. Uh -huh. Like some bread, some cheese and pasta. Cheese, yes. Cheese, cheese and bread. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Would you like some bread, some cheese and pasta? Yes, please. Would you like some bread, apples and melon? No, I'd like to eat pasta, some apples and melon. Would you like some bread, apples, and melon? No, I'd like to eat pasta, some apples, and melon. Ah, que quiere comprar. Uh -huh. mm, no. Would you like some bread, apples, and melon? No, I'd like to eat pasta, some apples, and melon. Esto quiere Would you like comprar. some bread, apples, and melon? No, I'd no. like to eat pasta, some apples, and melon. Es la derecha. Ella quiere Pero comprar pasta, pasta, no. pasta, 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 pasta. Would you like some bread, apples, and melon? No, I'd like to eat pasta, some apples, and melon. Esa la de la derecha. I like. Esa. Mm. All right. Okay, veamos en la opción número uno, opción número one, ¿cuál es la cuál es la respuesta correcta? Opción número dos. Okay, in the option number two. Number two. Number three. Number one. Number one. Four. Number two. Two. And the last one, number two. Excellent. 10 of 10. Very good. Muy bien, excelente. En este ejercicio podemos practicar un poco el listening. Okay, el listening comprehension. Lo han hecho muy bien. Eh, espero que haya quedado claro el uso de wood. En la siguiente clase vamos a utilizar, vamos a repasar más el would like. Vamos a tomar la asistencia de esta noche. 
Comenzamos con Mr. Molina Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Miss López Montalvo. Present teacher. Serrano Bora. Contreras Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Guadalupe Escobar Landa Verde. Escalante Rivera. Artega Méndez. Present teacher. Guevara Rosales. Guevara Rosales. Eh, Amaya de Amaya. Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. Neftali García. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. López Cerón. Present teacher. Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Guevara Chinchilla. Present teacher. Miriam Paola Díaz Pillegas. Guevara Castro. Present teacher. Okay, good. Guimagaña Martínez. Present teacher. Corpeño Martínez. Peraza Sandoval. Present teacher. López Portillo. Chicas Delgado. Present teacher. Muy bien. Bueno. Eh, no sé si me anotó mi Alejandra Serrano. Sí, sí, sí mis Alejandra. Ah, eh, recordarles que la realización de las tareas, la tarea número 16 y próximamente, próximamente ya estará habilitado el examen final. Y también hacerles el recordatorio que en esos días van a recibir una encuesta a través de WhatsApp y a través del correo electrónico. Esa encuesta la vamos a realizar en la última clase, todos juntos, que es el día lunes tenemos la última clase. Ok, así que no, he, no voy a realizar sí, pues. la encuesta. Digan. Yo me metí en la encuesta, pero no me aparece su nombre. Va, entonces el día, el día lunes lo vamos a, a realizar todos juntos para que no... Okay. Eh, porque se tiene que ser ese día para que no eh, ingresen incorrectos los datos. Okay. También, el el lunes es la, es la última clase, teacher. Sí, mes, la clase 20. Ah, ok. Ok, okay. y eh, eh, la, las tareas, ¿verdad? Eh, recordarles finalizar la tarea número 17 y aproxima, próximamente estará habilitada la tarea final, el examen final. Ok, ese día le corresponde a mi Sara Abigail y nos vemos en la siguiente clase. Good night. Good night. Ni Sara, no sé si me logra escuchar. Mi Sara. Hola. ¿Me logra escuchar? Sí, no sé si en la lista me escuchó. Sí, sí. Ah, ok. Bueno, mire, eh, en estos minutos es para que usted, bueno, que donde el alcalde uno tiene una oportunidad de poder tener una mini tutoría en la cual usted puede solventar, si existe, en el caso, que exista alguna pregunta con respecto a los temas gramaticales que hemos estudiado o algún vocabulario, y si no existe, pues también nos puede proporcionar eh, alguna retroalimentación de la clase para poder, mejorar, para poder mejorarla en caso exista algo. Tengo tres preguntas. Adelante. La primera es, ¿en qué momento usaríamos el would? Would, bueno, eh, partiendo de que would es el modal verb, para que modifica el verbo y que se le da un tono a la pregunta como más eh, educado, digamos. ¿Verdad? 
sí. o más suave, por llamarlo así. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo puedo utilizar cuando usted solicita de una forma educada algo. Puede ser con su jefe, puede ser en un restaurante. Por ejemplo, eh, I would like to order a pizza. Me gustaría ordenar una pizza. Ahí lo estoy haciendo de una forma polite, una forma educada. O eh, también, digamos, si se refiere a su jefe, que es un contexto formal, te puede decir, I would like, I would like to have a meeting with you. Me gustaría tener una reunión. Entonces, más que todo en contextos formales. Ok. Y no entraría, por ejemplo, si yo necesitara algo. El I need. I need sería necesito. ¿Necesito qué? Eh, por ejemplo, necesito un reporte. I need a report. Sí, también. Lo que pasa es que eh, lo que estamos haciendo ahorita es... sustituye el, el wow. O wow. Eh, no, lo que sucede es que aquí, con ese tipo, eh, con estas oraciones, lo que hace es dar una mayor variedad de cómo referirnos a otras personas. Usted puede utilizar need, no hay ningún problema, pero también puede decir, eh, I would need, yes, or I would like, también mm -hmm. la puedo utilizar. Ok, y eh, lo podemos hacer en cualquier momento. Por decirlo así, en pasado, presente. No, solamente para un presente, para el presente. Para un presente, ok. Y eh, para hacerlo en forma pregunta. Para hacerlo en forma pregunta, primero va a colocar would. would. Esa sería la, como la... la... La forma. Primero iría el would. Sí, sería would. Ajá. En caso no exista una WH question, ¿verdad? Como what, sí, sí. where, how. Ajá. Pero si va a una WH oh. question, iría al inicio. Luego el sujeto. Ajá. Subject más ver. Más complemento. O más. Tú. Tú, ok. Por ejemplo, would you like to play? Would they like to eat? El to infinitive es. To play, to go, to buy. Otro verbo. Sí, otro verbo. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Y quiero ver qué más, qué más, qué más. Ah, oh, tenía una pregunta con respecto a la conversación de María y Peter. Bien. Yeah. En la penúltima oración estaba un eh, aul, algo así. María, en, en, la, en la última, en la última, perdón. Ahí sí, cuando usamos ese, el de I y la doble L. Este es un futuro. Es un, ok. No hemos llegado a ese tema aún. Pero es la construcción de I will, yo estaré. I will, ok. I will, la construcción es I'll, I'll. Aquí se está refiriendo que él estará ahí ahorita mismo. Él estará. Ok. Yo estaré. I'll be there. Ok. Y... Uh, ¿Qué más? Creo que solamente, teacher. Ok, miss. Si surgen más dudas en lo que quedan de las clases, que ya solamente son tres, no duden en preguntar. Con mucho gusto la vamos a solventar. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Eh, okay. Muchas gracias por su tiempo y nos vemos en la, en la siguiente clase. Ok.
Bye. Good night. Good night.